Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, I'm so happy you're here. My name is Lindsay and I post a lot of drum videos online. So today I am stepping in to a new journey on my YouTube page. I have never really done any other types of content here other than drum covers, but I have been posting covers for 14 years and I really want to branch out and start doing more tutorial or how-to style videos here because I have learned so much along my journey posting content and I really want to be able to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. So a couple weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram page and I told you guys that whatever kind of how-to content I posted on my YouTube channel, it was all going to be requests and suggestions from you guys. So I asked you all what you wanted to see and I got a lot of responses, which was so cool. But the primary answer that I got to that question was, how do I create drum videos? And do you have any advice for that process? There is so much <laughs> that goes into this, especially if you are new at the process and you really don't know where to begin. So what I'm going to do, like I mentioned, is break this down into three different parts. And the first part, which is going to be today's video, is all going to be about gear and where to begin. You know, before coming into my studio today, I was thinking about when I first started doing YouTube. YouTube was like brand new and people were just getting started on the platform and there wasn't really that many people that were doing covers and I recorded everything on a camcorder. The audio and the video were all raw. There was like no editing to anything. My garage was just a total mess. It was like our storage place at our house. There was no appeal at all. It was just something that I started doing because there was this opportunity to share what I loved. And I didn't think about it and it was just nothing but fun. And I miss that time because nowadays there's so many people that we can compare ourselves to. We kind of get stuck down that cycle of why aren't I improving like this person is or why doesn't my studio look like this person's does. And my primary focus of doing this series is really just getting back to the basics of having fun, sharing what you love and not comparing yourself to other people because everybody gets started somewhere. You have to begin. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you're building a million dollar studio or whether all you have is your iPhone or a GoPro, you can still make really cool videos with what you have and with where you are. And the key to all of this is to just be yourself. Stay in your lane because only you can do what you do. So now that my TED talk is over, let's jump in to this how to make drum covers series. So the good news is that technology and let me just say the most obvious piece of gear that you need if you want to make drum covers is a drum set. But I made this video with the assumption that anyone watching probably already has one of those. Has improved substantially <laughs> since I started making YouTube videos. So if all you have is an iPhone, you're starting in a really good place because the raw audio quality from an iPhone really is not that bad. So I'm gonna take my iPhone 13, set it up at the kit and play for you guys so you can see visually how great it looks and the audio quality that you're gonna get from your iPhone. can see and hear the iPhone is completely doable to start making covers with but an alternative to the iPhone is a GoPro now I've been using GoPros for years for my videos I started using a hero 3 and now I'm at a hero 9 I actually just bought the hero 9 and I am completely blown away by how amazing this camera is. So let's set up the Hero 9 and I will demonstrate that next for you guys. Okay, so 
So now we have the bare, bare minimum out of the way. If all you have to get started is an iPhone or a GoPro, now you know what you can expect from either one when you're playing the kit. So now it's time to step it up a notch and we are going to separate the audio and the video. So if you wanna step up your sound quality from just using your camera, I wanna to talk to you guys about something that completely changed the way that I produced the videos, the rate that I could produce videos, the sound quality, everything. And that is the Yamaha EAD-10. Basically the EAD-10 is one single microphone that clamps onto your bass drum and it's connected to a little module where you can do all of the mixing for your kit with three really simple little knobs. <laughs> the sound of the EAD-10 and the quality that it produces is very subjective. So please keep that in mind while watching this specific part of the video. If the EAD-10 is not for you, that is completely fine. But for myself personally, it is hands down the best investment that I have ever made to my studio specifically for content creating. So now I'm gonna show you guys the EAD-10 in full swing, and I'm also going to be sharing my settings that I use for my kit in video number three of this series. So be sure to stick around so you can see exactly how I utilize this thing. specifically for content creating is an incredible <laughs> little piece of technology. I mean, before I was using the EAD-10, I was using my full mic setup to make videos and it was the most time consuming process ever simply because I am not a producer. I love the visual aspect of making videos, like I could edit videos all day, but when it comes to audio, mixing, and EQing, it is just not my forte. So if you're not a producer and you want to produce content at a rapid, very consistent pace, the EAD-10 is your best friend. If you don't want to use the EAD-10 and you are a producer or you can afford to have someone mix all of your videos for you so you can be very consistent and still produce at a rapid rate, let's jump in to the final top tier audio option that you could possibly have for your kit, which is obviously going to be a full mic setup. So if you're looking to buy a mic kit for your drums, I'm gonna show you guys a great beginner option from Shure. I used Shure microphones for years. I had two completely different sets of them throughout the course of probably the past 10 years or so. And for barely breaking the bank, the microphones are amazing quality and you can produce really good sounding drums from these mics. But before I jump in and show you guys the microphone kit, I do want to mention, if you are going to use a microphone kit, you do need an interface and you need recording software. So the great thing with the EAD-10, specifically for producing content, is that all you have to do is download an app called Rec and Share. You buy a little camera adapter for your phone, you plug one end into the EAD-10, the other end into your phone, and you can record directly into your phone. So it requires no interface or computer software. So for the mic setup that I'm using now, I have a Tascam USB interface. It's really simple, very straightforward to use. You just plug the USB end into your computer, and like I mentioned, record on whatever software you have, whether that's GarageBand, Logic, Cubase, etc. So now let's jump in to this Shure PGA drum mic kit. This is a seven piece kit, and this is an incredible option if you are a beginner looking to mic your drums and not completely break your bank. So let's go play these and see how good they sound. my friends. 
friends, so now that we have audio and camera options out of the way, there's two more things that I wanna mention before we wrap this up, and that is hearing protection, so headphones, <laughs> and lighting. So I am gonna be covering lighting in a little bit more depth in the second part of this series, but until then, I just wanna go over the basics with you guys. So for lighting, you really don't need much. Like what I'm using right now is more of a spotlight. I found these on Amazon for really cheap. I think they were only like 30 bucks for a set of two. So I use those and then I also use a soft box. I have two of those as well that I also got on Amazon. I really only need one though because my room is a little bit small, but you can get great lighting for very, very cheap on Amazon. And the last thing that you'll need and to wrap this video up is a pair of good in-ears. I cannot stress enough how important it is to protect your hearing. I did not do that for like the first 10 years that I was playing drums. To this day, I deal with a lot of ringing in my ears. And so I wanna share with you guys the headphones that I have been using. And I can confidently say these things saved my hearing, like no doubt about it. So my favorite headphones that I personally use are the Shure 425 in-ears. These are amazing. My favorite thing about these is that even though they're not custom molds, if you wanna take it another step further, you can definitely reach out to some companies and they'll custom mold um, your ears for you. And those are also really great, but they're also quite expensive. So the great thing about these is that the part that goes in your ear is custom moldable to your own ear. So they kind of squeeze in like traditional earplugs would, and then they expand once they're in your ear. So it doesn't matter how small or how big your ears may be, these will fit nice and snug. And to show you guys a little more close up, this is what they look like. All of the gear mentioned in this video, you guys can find linked in the description below. That way you have easy access to everything that you need. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. And please stick around, subscribe, turn on that notification bell because part two is coming very soon. And in that video, I'm going to actually be filming a cover in real time that I'm going to use and be posting on my social media so you guys can see my step-by-step -step process of recording to a track, what all of that entails, as well as a little more depth on lighting, video, aesthetic, camera placement, etc. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I hope to see you back here soon for video number two and three on the How to Make Drum Cover series. Take care.